Tonight on Master Debaters, we turn our dark, all-seeing eye onto the 1987 classic, The Princess Bride. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank I you appreciate that. Us. You'll each have 10 seconds to tell us who you are and why your opinion matters. Ron, go! Hi, my name is Ron Babcock. I'm a comedian. I used to review movies for The Rotten Tomatoes Show, and I'm a believer in true love. Chris, 10 seconds to tell us who you are and why we should care about your opinion. Go! Uh, okay, uh, I smell nice. I went to film school. I, I have a Moon Man, an MTV Moon Man, and uh, I edit this show, so I control what both these people say. Ron, Princess yeah. Bride, describe how it makes you feel in three adjectives. Happy, hopeful, loved. Chris, Princess Bride, described in three adjectives. Sleepy, Ron, Babcock. <laughs> So these are opening arguments. You have 20 seconds to tell us what your opinion is and why you feel that way about it. Rod, 20 seconds on the clock. Hang on. Okay, okay so one of these has got to make this. Nope, that's time. Okay, yeah, PM. I don't want to set the clock right now. All right, go. I love The Princess Bride. You know why? Because everyone loves The Princess Bride. It's a classic. The characters, they're memorable. And if you don't love The Princess Bride, I'm sorry, but there's something inside of you that's broken and I can't fix it. But I'm sorry someone hurt you. Time. I am. All right, Chris, you have 20 seconds to state your opinion and why you feel that way about it. Go. It's a conventional uh, fairy tale with no originality in itself. Uh, it's not about the heart of being a princess, which is uh, having to make tough decisions and being chastised often for the right decisions. It's about chewing bubblegum in the back of a limo. Time. Ron, you have 60 seconds to support your opinion with cold, hard, scientific, unfeeling fact. Go. Okay, maybe everyone doesn't like The Princess Bride, but you have to concede that a lot of people do like The Princess Bride, and I know that it's really hard to put a number on it. Oh wait, no it's not. 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. 97% of the people on for. Rotten Tomatoes like The Princess Bride. That's crazy high. Shakespeare in Love, which won Best Picture, only has 93%. But this movie has iconic characters, iconic lines. If you dressed up as uh, Inigo Montoya and you walked around Halloween with the scars on your cheek going, my name is Inigo Montoya, you killed my father, prepare to die. You'd have to go to the hospital because your hand would be broken from all the high fives you were getting. Time. Ron, those are great points. Please, have this cookie. Oh, Chris, 60 okay. seconds to support your opinion with cold hard scientific fact. Go. Okay, first off, I don't know anything that he was just talking about. It's not 97%. Mia's argument with Josh Bryant on at the beach party is terrible, and the fact that he like just completely embarrassed her, and then she retaliates with this like childish humor at the high school by just like throwing a baseball in his face when she needs to start thinking about like being a princess because she's going to take over the throne of that, and that's the whole thing. Let me finish. And that's the whole point, is that it's grounded in being a child, and it has nothing to do with the fact of like dealing with real-world issues that she's supposed to be. Second off, it's a fake country, Genovia. Uh, uh, background or history. If you're going to have the audacity to make up a country, give it a backbone. Give it some depth on it. It's time. 60 seconds for a rebuttal, Ron, and go. I was under the impression that we were debating the Princess Bride. Yeah, we are. A movie from 1987. Princess Bride, Princess Bride 2, Princess Bride 3. Oh, you were talking about The Princess Diaries, starring Anne Hathaway, which is a completely <laughs> different movie. Uh, it has Anne Hathaway in it, but I'm talking about Princess Bride. No, Princess Bride has Robin Wright, who is now on Netflix House of Cards. Hold on one second. Time developing arguments, and then I gotta deal with this Lagarde BS. Oh, uh, dude, I bed man I'm so sorry oh, about yeah. this I thought the movie was called Princess Bride and there were three of them and they were just like they were the, the most boring thing in the world so if you want to switch gears and argue about the Princess Diaries I'll switch gears right now because those movies were fucking awesome tonight on Master Debaters we turn our dark all-seeing eye onto the Princess Diaries it's great it's a fun movie but it's I, terrible I, I gathered it's that. not terrible <laughs> It's I'll tell you how to fix it. I'll it's the third episode of the show and it's gone off the goddamn rails. Well, you know what? I sh bet on that and maybe I can fix it in post. Gentlemen, this is all going to come down to one round. Right. A little round I like to call haiku. I'll give you three minutes to write the best haiku, reminding you that it is five syllables. Seven syllables. Five syllables. I wish I had more cookies. 
Five seven five, right? Yeah, five seven five. Can I read mine? Hold on, yep. I instantly read my opening line. Oh my god! It's like he's never written a haiku before. I only write good ones. Time. I c no haiku is good. Chris will read his haiku first. Soft sand as you wish, Princess Bride as you wish, Bill Crystal is great. Oh man, you know who I like that guy who hosts the Oscars sometimes? Bill Crystal. Oh God, he's so good. Whoop Gold. Whoop Gold and... <laughs> mm. Read your haiku. Postmodern fairy tale, have fun storming the castle, true love conquers all. Have you seen The Princess Bride? Yeah, it's really good. It has Billy Crystal and it's directed by Rob Reiner. Yeah, of course hilarious. it's directed by Rob Reiner. It's, it's, Final it's, Tap, it's I mean, awesome. when Harry met Sally. Oh, Christopher Guest is in it. He's like, he's a little watered down. Wait, which one was Christopher Guest in He's it? a six-fingered man. <gasps> he just doesn't say no, much. No, that's not Christopher Guest. Yes, yeah. it is. Is it? It is. Wow, he did a great job. I thought yeah. that was the guy from Game of Thrones. I really yeah, did. yeah, yeah. Guys, that's it for Master Debaters. Next time I'll do a better job of making sure that the whoever's on the show knows what f***ing movie they're talking about. 97% of us seem to love it. I think we can all agree that Princess Bride is f***ing excellent. Yes, it is. It's a great movie. And it feels good to come movie. to some sort of consensus on a movie in this show. But if you don't agree with it, leave a message in the comments, because I would love to hear why someone doesn't like The Princess Bride, because I think it's a delightful film. What's the movie where uh, Christian Slater, like, gleams a cube? The Gleaming the Cube. Hey, if you love Master Debaters, why not check out some of our other episodes as well as some of the other delicious content that is here on Cinefix as well. Just below... Oh, wait, I'm a voice. You can't actually see me point. <laughs> Stupid.